Dead Space was never a series about exploring the wonders of the universe, or as space as a wild frontier. No, Dead Space is a game about how space is an abyss into which we gaze and see our nightmares reflected. It really is good to be back on the Ishimura, even if this is a remake instead of a fourth game. This is a fact made all the more frustrating by how much of this remake feels like a brand new Dead Space. Sure, a lot of it does feel the same as the original game. You'll remember rooms and set pieces from back in the day, and I think a big part of this remake's strength is down to the fact it builds on what was already there, rather than making something brand new. It could be the foundation for Dead Space moving forward, proof that this survival horror formula is still as strong now as when the original game launched in 2008. In case you don't know the plot, Isaac Clarke is your average space engineer hoping to see his girlfriend after a long time apart during a standard repair job. Instead, he comes face to face with monsters that only die when cut into pieces. Cosmic horrors contained in rocks and an evil cult-like religion. Dead Space manages more in 10 hours than most games do in 30, and that narrative has been further focused in this remake. Isaac actually talks now, and though I did enjoy him as a silent yet capable protagonist in the original, this helps him feel more like an active participant in the story. It's not a perfect characterization, but you do get more a sense of him barely being able to keep his shit together as the crisis escalates. As well as new things added just for this remake, like the circuit breaking mechanic which adds a lot of strategy to the game, and the necromorph peeling system which adds more horrific gore, but also makes it easier to tell which limbs have taken enough damage to chop off. A lot of the changes in this remake are quality of life improvements taken from the sequel, which just happens to be my favorite game. For instance, almost all of the improved secondary attacks on the weapons are taken from that game, as is the zero-g flying as opposed to the jumping from platform to platform like in the original. While there used to be few reasons to return to older areas of the Ishimura, the remake adds locked security clearance doors and containers to motivate you to explore fully for extra items, adding an almost Metroidvania-esque slew of optional content. And to support it, the ship is now much more interconnected, making it feel like a much more more cohesive space. This Dead Space remake also overhauls the story, and while it doesn't change major story beats or the overarching plot of the original, it does cast them in a completely new light via side quests, holographic logs, and new characters. People you never fully interacted with in the original are now fully fledged characters. Nicole is now a much bigger part of the game, and the antagonist is much more prominent. Yet the overall effect is weirdly frustrating. On one level, it's amazing that so much effort has gone into redeveloping the original game's plotline, but at the same time, this effort could have been equally well applied to a new Dead Space. It's hard not to feel the same way about the improved sound design and visuals. The remake was built from the ground up using the Frostbite engine, and looks and sounds incredible. It took me about 12 hours to complete everything on medium difficulty, but even though it's a little on the shorter side, this is what Dead Space has always been, an intense momentum-driven experience. Most of all, I'm just happy Dead Space is back and Dead Space is good. Even if this doesn't lead to a new game, I'll keep my limbs crossed for an equally strong remake of the second in the future. Not that it needs it, because that game is already perfect to me. There's still a way out for us. But we don't have much time. You know what would be great? Dead Space 1 remake, Dead Space 2 remake, Dead Space 3, except actually good this time, please.